In an earlier video, we discussed sequence by color, but there are other ways to sequence designs in color film. Whenever you edit a design and change colors and add designs and add lettering, you must be aware of the implications of the change in terms of stitch order. This design was created by adding a duplicate design to the first design and then adding lettering and some extra flowers. Always look at color film to notice the sequence of a design. In color film, notice that the first design stitches and then the duplicate design stitches, then the lettering, and then the three flowers that were placed on top. The design can stitch out much more efficiently by combining colors. An easy way to do this is go to Design and Optimize Color Changes. In the dialog box, click OK. Now the light colors are combined and the design is no longer stitching out the left side and then the right. The software knows the correct order that needs to be maintained so the design will stitch out properly and will not resequence any colors that are on top of other design elements. You can also manually change the stitch order in color film. You can move an object or color forward or backward in the stitch order. When you change the stitch order in this way, you need to be aware of objects that are placed on top of other objects, such as the blue flowers in the center. The objects on top need to be stitched last. If these flowers are selected and move to the start of the design, the yellow is stitching on top of the flower, and that would not be the correct order. Just click undo to bring the flowers back on top. If you wanted the lettering to stitch first, you could select it in color film and click on move to start. Since it's not stitching on top of any other element in the design, that would be fine. You can also select an object and select move to end. That will make it the last element to stitch. Again, it's fine with the lettering because it's not stitching on top of anything else or nothing else is stitching on top of it. If you change some of the colors in the design as you're editing a design, such as these yellow flowers, you'll notice in color film that the design is not stitching efficiently. I can select an individual element in color film and I'm holding down the Alt key since I'm working with the group design and I can select back one color and that element will combine with another pink object. But you can see that there's still some other pink objects further in the design. Again, holding down the Alt key, I can move those forward one color until they combine with the other pink objects. Again, it's important that you're always aware, did this change any kind of stitch order where now something is going to be stitching on top of another element? You can also break the colors into objects by clicking on Show Objects. And if I zoom in here, you can see that these two blue flowers are stitching on top of the blue satin flower, and it would be better if they stitch first. By scrolling down in color film, I can select one of the objects and click on back one object, and that will bring it to stitch before the blue satin. I can also select the blue satin flower and move it forward one object, and now the blue satin flower is stitching on the other blue objects. The direction of the triangles in color film in the icons will always point in the direction that the object or color will move in color film. Remember also to always click on the stitch player to watch the design stitch out before saving the design.